What is up YouTube, it's your boy Hayes back here with another video. Today we are into 7 secret places hidden in plain sight. And let's just hop right into this video and let's so, go. Here are 7 secret places hidden in the middle of famous locations. Let's get into it. Let's get it on. Let's do it. It's a six An song. empty building in the middle of Times Square. Okay. Every year about 37 million people visit Times Square in New York making okay. it the world's second most visited tourist attraction. Huh. How do you hide an entire building in such a place? Exactly. It sounds like magic. And yet, almost nobody pays attention to this empty 25-story skyscraper right in the middle of Times Square. This building, One Times Square, was originally constructed in oh. 1904, and it held the headquarters of the New York Times. Eight years later, they moved from like, there, I've been there it too. looked like this. Its most recent owners there. went bankrupt in 1992, so they sold it to the Lehman Brothers. Rather than find new tenants for the tower, they had a more lucrative residence in mind, ads. Shitloads and shitloads of ads. Shitloads. The firm had large <laughs> screens crudely attached to the facade of the building, and now One Times Square rakes in $23 million a year despite having zero tenants. Well, Damn. okay, they have a pharmacy on the ground floor. When Lehman Brothers Bank sold the building in 1997, they had 300% of profit. Today, One Times Square is worth $495 million. And if someone wants an advertisement on it, then they'll have to pay between one to $2.5 million annually which is at least twice Damn. as expensive as renting a hotel room in that area. Damn. The only current inhabitant of the building is the New Year's ball, which sits alone on the roof all year. So when you're watching the ball drop on New Year's, remember that you're watching it fall onto a building full of nothing but empty halls and abandoned offices. Damn. The Who secret knew, eh? room behind Did Mount you guys Rushmore. know that? I didn't. The main character of the cinematic classic National Treasure 2, Book of Secrets, finds out about a secret complex inside Mount Rushmore, which contains a treasure. But well, that's ridiculous, right? It must have been an invention of the scriptwriters. Or is it? It turns out the sculptor, Gutson Borglum, had the idea of creating a hall of records to store the most important US documents for the next generations such as the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, etc. Borglum's death in 1941 stopped the project. Nevertheless, the creation of tunnels using explosives had already started. In 1998, the US government installed there a sealed titanium safety vault, hmm. along with a 1,200-pound granite capstone. They put in there copies of the US's most important historic documents. The glamorous yeah. abandoned terminal at JFK Airport. I wasn't surprised about if that If you've one. ever looked out of the window while being groped by security at New York's JFK International Airport, you must have noticed an empty terminal, looking lonely <laughs> but gorgeous, with its snazzy design and gull-like winged roof. That's the Trans World Airlines Flight mm. Center, which was designed by a famous Finnish architect and opened in 1962. Unfortunately, when TWA Company went bankrupt in 2001, the fancy terminal was abandoned. For years now, there have been talks about its future. Some wanted to turn it into a restaurant, others into a conference center or an aviation museum or even a hotel. That's so sick. far, none have yet to pass. I really so like nowadays, it remains I'm idle like and unused. The secret suite on, uh, at the top of the Eiffel Tower. After Gustave Eiffel introduced his tower to the world I really want to in visit 1889, France, so. he was getting only criticism about his creation. Many famous critics considered it too big and ugly. Everyone literally hated it. But he obviously didn't give a shit about the opinion of those <laughs> who couldn't even didn't imagine give a shit. there was a secret apartment at Did the top now? of his tower. Did not the little residence shits. of Gustave Eiffel was furnished with wallpaper and wooden cabinets, so it Say. actually looked quite cosy. Once nice. the word spread to the Parisian creme de la creme, they started annoying Eiffel, offering him money to let them spend one night in wow. a wonderful apartment. The only answer was probably just giving them the finger. He himself <laughs> used to go there to meditate. You guys did not believe in me and now you guys want to stay in the room on my tower? Nah, fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. You guys cannot stay there. It's my fucking invention, bitch. To meditate or to meet his friend <laughs> Thomas Edison. And all that time, right until 2015, it wasn't open to the public. Nevertheless, this is not the only mystery of the tower. Under the south pillar, there is a military bunker, and according Whoa, to the rumors, it is connected to the French military academy by a secret tunnel. 
Whoa. Secret train platform under the Central Station in New York. You'll be surprised, but New York has more hidden spots than a teenager's room. Sure. One of these is located right underneath the Central Station, which mm. sees in and off a huge amount of passengers that are completely unaware of anything. The Waldorf Astoria Hotel was built right above the underground rail lines, leading to the Grand Central Station. And in 1929, some genius had an idea. VIPs should arrive directly at the hotel, instead of arriving at the station and seeing hobos and other ragtags. So a secret train platform was constructed. The first person to use it was General John Pershing, who visited the city in 1938. Another celebrity who tried it was Franklin Roosevelt. He wanted to keep secret his health issues. To be more certain, his wheelchair-bound condition. He exited his car via a giant elevator that let him leave directly into the street, Batman style. Sadly, after Roosevelt, there weren't many presidents that used trains. That's anymore. really cool, actually. Secret floor on the top of the Empire State Building. Most people think that the Empire that State yet. Building has 102 Like, floors. I've been in New York City, but... Even the New York Times says so. Never stepped foot but in very few state. people know that there is a secret 103rd floor, which apparently exists only to entertain the most famous and rich. Right above the official top floor, there is an outdoor observatory, which provides a jaw-dropping view over the city of New York. It is only accessible by a hidden I staircase on the 102nd floor. Maybe the reason why people are not allowed there is a lack of safety measures. Aside from a kind request to please, please not jump off. The lucky ones who have been there point out both the awesome view and the incredible silence. Since Manhattan is an island, the water around it absorbs all the sound. The creepy abandoned island in the middle of Disney World. Nowadays, the Walt what? Disney Company has four world-known amusement parks, but not everybody knows that there is also a fifth park, Discovery Island, and the company doesn't like talking about it, not anymore. Walt Disney Company opened it in 1974 what? as Treasure Island, but soon they changed the name to Discovery Island. They ended up closing the place in 1999, since they just opened Animal Kingdom and all the animals were transferred to the new park. So Discovery Island went neglected. Until one day, an urban explorer called Shane Perez swam over in the middle of the night, easily dodging Disney's security. Wow. What he saw there was very much like <laughs> Jurassic World. Walking through the overgrown park, he was taking pictures of empty cages for animals, old photos of employees, snakes preserved in jars, vultures, what? you know, classic Disney fun. Damn. To this bald vagary, Disney responded with threats of banning him from visiting Ooh. any of their property forever. Yep, As for the suck. island, there were plans to revive it, but they never got to do it. Damn. That's crazy, man. Or was that at Disney World or Disneyland? That would have been Disney World probably, right? Like the one in Orlando or where was that one at? Just so many Disney parks like around the world, like I can't keep track, but I've only been to the one I've only been to the one in Orlando. I've not been to the one in California yet. Hopefully soon maybe. I don't know. But anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you guys liked my reaction. So if you did, please drop a like and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.